Hi friends, so today we're going to read Jonathan and the Big Blue Boat. It makes me feel very small, said Jonathan to Frederick. He helped Frederick up high so he could see the big blue boat too. Jonathan loved the big blue boat. He and Frederick would stay at the old wharf till sunset looking up at the rusty blue hall. And there he is holding his friend up. One afternoon, Jonathan's parents announced, you're getting too old for a stuffed animal. So we traded your bear for a toaster. Oh no, cried Jonathan. Frederick was his best friend. Toasters really are useful, they said. That day, Jonathan walked to the old wharf alone. And there's our friend Jonathan. Oh, I see her boat. Oi, called the gray-haired tugboat captain. Why so sad? Jonathan sighed. Frederick is missing. He could be anywhere in this world by now. The seagulls made a lonely sound over the harbor. A long time ago, said the captain, the big blue boat sailed all over the world. My tugboat worked very hard in those days. Standing in the shadow of the big blue boat, Jonathan had an idea. Hmm. I wonder what his idea is. Let's see. Before long, the big blue boat was steaming like a tea kettle. The tugboat pulled it out past the buoyance and into the open ocean. Jonathan was off to find Frederick. Good luck, the captain followed as Jonathan waved goodbye. And that is how Jonathan came to sail the sea on a big blue boat. A storm gathered on the high seas. Although the night, the big blue boat rocked back and forth on the tall waves. When morning came, the boat was marooned. Hello, said Jonathan to a mountain goat. I'm looking for a bear named Frederick. The goat was startled. He had never met a sea captain before. I've never met a bear before, said the goat. But someday, I would like to. Jonathan looked up. I could use a first mate, he offered. But my boat is stuck. The goat waggled his chains thoughtfully. He wedged his powerful horns beneath the boat's hull. The great ship teetled like a seesaw. And then, hmm. let's see. Parkers, oi. And that is how Jonathan and the mountain goat came to sail the sea on a big blue boat. Oh, and there's the goat helping Jonathan take the boat out. Circus tents appeared in the distance. Full steam ahead, said Jonathan to the goat. On shore, the circus was deserted, except for an elephant. We're looking for a bear named Frederick, said Jonathan. I'm the only one here, said the elephant replied. He lowered his truck. I've grown too old for the circus. The elephant looked very sad and very wise. We could use an experienced traveler, said Jonathan. And there's his friend, elephant. And that is our friend, Jonathan, the goat and the circus elephant. And this is how Jonathan, a mountain goat, and a circus elephant came to sail the sea on the big blue boat. Pirates, cried the elephant from the lookout perch. Arr, can over your treasure, or the pirate captain. We're looking for a bear named Frederick, explained Jonathan. They're holding out on us, roared the, roared the pirate captain. Ready for our artillery, storm the ship. The goat welded his horns. The elephant stood on his hind legs, waving his tusks in the air. Fire, the pirate yelled. Kablam. Oh no, let's see what's going to happen. Startled by the sound of his own cannon, the captain cried, retreat. 
retreat beats to move away or to move back. So let's see what's going to happen. The big blue boat began to sink. Oh no, cried the boat, cried the goat. We're shipwrecked, moaned the elephant. Man, the lifeboats, ordered Jonathan. Just then, a whale swarmed up from under the fray. Balancing the big blue boat on the length of his back, he said in a deep, slow whale voice, The ocean can be lonely. It's good to have company. There's the whale. It looks like our boat is sinking. Let's see what's going to happen. And that is how Jonathan and a mountain goat and a circus elephant came to sail the sea on a big blue boat. On the back of a whale. And there they go. See our friends on top? The elephant and goat snored like a foghorn and a whistle. Ah, choo, ee, woo, ee. Jonathan looked out at the endless sea. Will I ever find Frederick, he wondered. Far off, a lighthouse blinked, showing the way to a distant port. Captain, said the whale, should we set a course? Do you think our friend is going to find his little bear? Let's see. Oh, I hope so. I'll watch the ship, said the whale. The others spend the day bear hunting in a train station and alleyways. They rode taxi cabs and elevators and talked to pigeons along the way. Frederick was nowhere to be found. Where will we look now, said the elephant. A light flickered on in a shop window. We'll try here, said Jonathan. And there is a the shop window. Inside the shop was cluttered and careful. Hello, said a little girl from behind the counter. In her arms, she was holding. <gasps> Frederick, cried Jonathan. Oh, he's not for sale, said the little girl. I traded a toaster for this bear. He is my best friend. I wouldn't go anywhere without him. Jonathan smiled. After all, a big boat needs a big crew. And there's our friend Frederick. And that is how Jonathan, Frederick, a mountain goat, a circus elephant, and the little girl from behind the counter came to sail the sea in a big blue boat. I hope you like the story. Bye friends.